Scarlet, you got a minute? Hey, Benjamin. I just got off work. What's up? Yeah, I just submitted my resignation. What? You mean you quit your job again? Yeah. Wait a minute. That's the third time already. What on earth are you thinking? I can't believe you quit your job without talking to me first. You don't have to get so angry. I'm going through a lot, you know. That doesn't mean you can just quit your job on your own. I have my own problems too. But I'm putting up with all that to make a living for us. Why can't you do that too? It's not that I can't do it, but I was having a hard time dealing with politics at the company. I can't work in that kind of environment. You always blame others. Are you even trying? Are you really that good so that you can blame others? I did my best in my own way. In your own way. I don't think you're working hard until people recognize that. I'm trying as hard as I can. I'm sure you can do it if you put yourself into it. But if you quit your job too many times in a row, we won't be able to keep paying the bills. Even our savings is about to run out. I know. You don't have to tell me that. If you are aware of the situation, why would you quit your job? I'm sorry. Next time, I want you to get a job within three months. I won't be happy if you're unemployed for more than six months like last time. I understand. I'll find another job within three months. And this time, I'll work diligently and won't quit. Of course you will. We are living with your mother, so you need to start making money as quick as possible. I understand. I'll do as you say. I gotta go. I just arrived at the station. Hey, Scarlet, can you go do a little shopping for me? Hi, Jessica. How many times do I have to tell you? I work from home. I'm working right now. I can't go shopping. I heard a new cookie shop just opened in front of the station. They must have some good cookies there. Okay. They're having a special sale until today. So would you mind stepping out and go buy some for me? Jessica, do you understand what I'm saying? What? I'm working right now. If you want those cookies, you have to go buy yourself. Huh? Why are you being so cocky? What do you mean you're working? You're just watching YouTube or something on the computer, right? No, I'm not. You should have a decent job, you know. I'm working all day. I'm not even taking much break. I can't believe you don't even have time to go buy some cookies. Even a child can do that. There's nothing I can do, is there? I have a husband, which is your son, who can't keep a job and he goofs around playing PlayStation all day. Hey, I won't forgive you if you speak ill of Benjamin. But it's true, isn't it? He quit his job not once, but three times in a row. Playing games every day with a bag of chips. I have no choice but to work. I work to earn money to make a living for us. If you have a favor to ask, ask your son who is playing in his room. Well, what a way to talk about your husband. I'm so disgusted with you. It's one reason why you can't even have a child. I want a child someday. But I can't have a child with such little money. You need money to raise a child, you know? I can't raise a child like this when Benjamin keeps quitting his job. Oh my god. You just keep nagging all kinds of crap. You're really cheeky, you know that? Um, if you have nothing else to say, can I go back to my work? Huh? I'm working right now. I have some work I need to finish today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, what about those cookies? Scarlet, may I have a word with you? I'm working right now. It won't take long. 
I just want to apologize for always giving you such a hard time. You're sorry? I think I tend to take advantage of you since we're living together. Well... Benjamin said the same thing. He said because you're reliable, it made him feel easy to ask you to do many things. And then we both agreed that we should apologize to you. Please don't do that. I don't feel good about this. Instead, I can feel you're definitely up to something. That's not true. We are really sorry. It's hard to believe considering everything I've been through. You know, when people sincerely apologize for their action, you should accept it. What? Actually, I've got a little chunk of money coming in. Huh? Why? You didn't do anything illegal, did you? Don't be silly, but I'm not going to tell you where I'm getting it from. I'm kind of having a hard time to believe you. Don't say that. Anyway, Benjamin and I talked it over. We decided to go on a trip with you, since we kept causing you some trouble. Wait a minute. Benjamin is currently unemployed, so we don't have any money we can spare. I don't know why he agreed to it. He's thinking about you, don't you think? It really affected us financially the last time he quit his job, and we are just barely making ends meet, and our savings running out. If you have money to travel, could you please put it into the family budget? What? Benjamin and I planned this trip to make you happy. It's terrible to waste all that goodwill. I'm sorry about that, but our monthly budget is really tight. What are you talking about? We're just trying to relieve you of your hard work. I'm just trying to help you, so I think you should take our feelings into consideration. I don't know what to say. You must be stressed out working every day. We want you to be relieved of your work for a little while. If that's the case, I'd rather have the two of you work. That's impossible for me to do that all of a sudden, isn't it? Anyway, let's go on a cruise on a luxury cruise ship, which I had been dreaming of for so long. What? A luxury cruise ship? Jessica, that's too extravagant. We don't have that kind of money. I'll pay for the trip, so you don't have to worry about anything. Anyway, I want you to book a luxury cruise for three adults, okay? Me? Yes. I don't know much about the internet, you know. I'm busy with work, so please ask Benjamin who has lots of free time. I can't do that. Why not? Well, you know... He is kind of spaced out, so I want to ask you to do it. You're more reliable than him, right? Well, I guess. So, please book us a luxury cruise. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's a trip with good food, drinks, games, and dancing. It's definitely going to be fun. Jessica, I need to ask you something. What? Are you sure you're paying for the trip? I don't have any money for a luxury cruise. Oh my god, yes I do! Don't worry! I have it all taken care of! A luxury cruise trip is a wonderful idea to bring the family closer together. I think this is a trip we need right now. Let's just, the three of us, enjoy it as much as we can. I understand. Hi, Jessica. Where are you? It's time to get off the ship, so please come back to the room. I can't find Benjamin. Is he with you? Hey, Scarlet. Are you still on the cruise ship? Well, I guess you want to stay there as long as you can. It's not every day you get on a luxury cruise ship. Benjamin and I already got off the ship. What? It was a great trip. We're going back home now, so please pay the rest of the $30,000 for the trip, since I paid for the highway and gas to the port. Jessica, that's not what you told me. 
You promised you would pay for the cruise, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? Did I promise that? I don't remember. Are you kidding? If you want, there's a record of the conversation on WhatsApp. And what's $30,000? I thought the cruise trip cost $20,000. Well, because it's a luxury cruise ship, there are many nice stores on board, remember? There are a lot of nice things in each store. I was enjoying shopping with Benjamin, and before I knew it, the total went up to $10,000. When did you two go shopping together? When? When you were enjoying the spa. Well, I guess we both had a wonderful time. A wonderful time? You know what? I wasn't into this trip from the beginning because I thought you would do something like this. But you enjoyed it too, didn't you? You don't have to say that now. I can't believe you and Benjamin. No matter how angry you are, you still have to pay for what we spent. You work so hard every day that you don't even have time to spend money. So paying that much should be a piece of cake, right? What are you talking about? The only reason I work is to earn money for a living. Yes, yes. So let's get the bill together and take care of it. Benjamin and I will go home first. Hey, Jessica, you'll regret this. Hey, Scarlet, are you still not home yet? Maybe you're stranded because you don't have enough money. How dare you talk to me like that? What? Who do you think you're talking to? You're a pathetic woman deceived by me and my mother. Huh? Well, but thanks to you, I enjoyed a luxury cruise ship. And I could buy all the things I wanted, so I'll forgive you for what you just said. How can you say such a thing? You made me work all day and spend all my savings. How much do you think I've taken care of you guys? What do you mean taking care of us? I can't let you get away with that. I thought about asking my mom for a little money to help pay for the trip, but I decided not to. You're the one who's going to pay the $30,000 in one lump sum. Okay, no problem at all. What? Have you finally lost your mind? You wish. I've been taking precautions to prevent something like this from happening. What do you mean? A man like you wouldn't understand even if I told you. Why don't you just keep on fooling around and playing your precious games? It's probably the best you can do right now. What do you mean? Hey. Hey. I heard you said something cheeky to my son. What the hell is going on? I told him the truth. You did pay your bill, didn't you? What are you talking about? I didn't pay anything because you promised to make the payment. What are you talking about? I told you to book the trip, didn't I? Yes, you did. I booked the trip in your name, just like you told me to. What? In my name? That's right. I had my suspicions from the beginning, so I booked it under your name. Why did you do that? Don't you know anything? The cost of the trip plus the cost of shopping is charged to the person who booked for the trip. What? You mean they're going to charge me for everything? That's right. You always ask me for some money to go shopping. Who would believe that you paid $20,000 for the cruise on the luxury cruise ship? Anyone would be suspicious, don't you think? Let me get this straight. So I have to pay $30,000? That's right. I'm glad I had the opportunity to go on the luxury cruise trip for free. Please take care of the payment. Wait a minute. There's no way I can pay that much money. Well, you promised to pay for it. There's a record of that on WhatsApp. That was a figure of speech. I thought you would travel with me if I said that. Yes, we went together, and now you're paying for it. Wait a minute, I really don't have $30,000.
Benjamin says he doesn't have a penny either. But you have to pay what you spent, you know. What happens if I don't pay? It would be considered fraud or theft. You will be sent to jail, right? Because you didn't pay for what you spent. Wait a minute. You are my daughter-in-law, right? If we can't pay, it's your responsibility to pay, isn't it? Now pay up. Benjamin is standing right beside me telling you to do it. I'm sorry, but I just became a person who has nothing to do with you guys. What are you talking about? I'm a stranger to you people. I don't understand. Stop yammering and hurry up and pay up. Don't you understand? I just submitted the divorce papers to the city office, and the divorce was successfully finalized. Huh? Don't be ridiculous. Are you saying you forged the divorce papers? No, I didn't. I didn't forge them. It was filled in by Benjamin. What? He says he didn't write any divorce papers. Oh my goodness. I think he has forgotten about it. What? When he quit his job the last time, he promised to find another job within three months. If he couldn't keep that promise, I said I'd get a divorce. So he filled out the divorce papers himself and left them with me. No way. That's the first time I've heard of such a thing. I didn't know that. Anyway, you should pay for the luxury cruise. I would never do that. Everything is in your name. There will be no bill for me. And above all, I have nothing to do with you anymore. Hey, Scarlet, you dirty rat. I can't believe you're using divorce papers at a time like this. Which one of us is dirty? You quit your job without consulting me and stayed home all day playing games. And on top of that, you planned a $20,000 cruise on a luxury cruise ship. And then you want me to pay for your purchases. I'm truly disgusted. You pay $30,000. That's what we planned for. Huh? A luxury trip without paying a penny yourself? Don't be ridiculous. Don't bother my mom. You pay. If you think this is bothering your mother, then you should get a job. If you two work together, I don't think it's an amount you can't pay. I'm telling you this because I can't do that. Now go get your marriage certificate. Once we're married again, you'll be responsible for the payments. Are you nuts? I can't talk to you. I finally divorced you. I can finally get away from you guys. I'm not going to marry you ever again. Huh? Then what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Why don't you just talk to your mother and decide? Well then, I'm no longer related to you anymore. Hey Scarlet, I can't let you do something selfish. Which one of us did something selfish? Think about it. I'm not going to get involved in your selfishness anymore. Either you pay the $30,000 or you're going to jail. Choose whichever you like. I don't care what happens to you guys. Scarlet, don't say that. We were a family, weren't we? I really wanted to take care of you, you know? Huh? How dare you say that when you tried to make me pay $30,000? How long are you going to keep up with your nonsense? I'm telling the truth, so help me pay for it. We enjoyed a luxury cruise together, didn't we? No way. I was alone the whole time on the ship. Although, I did enjoy myself. Then it's worth paying for. Let's pay it together. Please, enough already. I will not pay a penny and I will not return to that house. I'm a stranger from now on. Oh no, Scarlet, please. Please help us. I'll do whatever you say from now on. I refuse. Well, goodbye. Wait. After that, it seems that Jessica and Benjamin decided to pay $30,000.
They are going to pay for the cruise and shopping. They had been living entirely on my own income, so they had no savings. So they had to ask their relatives to pay for it. Now Jessica and Benjamin have to pay back to their relatives. They were forced to move to an old, cheap apartment near their relative's house. They are forced to work part-time, day and night, under the supervision of their relatives. Benjamin tried to find a job, but he couldn't, because he quit three times in a row. Even if I were on the company side, I would not hire an employee like him. He deserves it. I was awakened to the joy of traveling by the luxury trip, and I am working hard every day to save up for a trip. I would like to thank those bum people only for teaching me the joy of traveling. Patricia, I heard from Aaron that you've decided where you're going for your honeymoon. Valerie, I was going to tell you that later. That's right. We've decided to go to Florida. We don't like to spend long hours inside a plane, so Florida is the best place for us. We have plenty of time to do some sightseeing when we arrive there. That's great. I have a week back, so I can't stay on the plane for a long time. Good choice, Patricia. Thanks for picking a place close by. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to try marine sports. That sounds fun, doesn't it? I've only seen them on TV, so I've always wanted to try it. Oh, I see. By the way, Valerie, are you planning to go to Florida with your friends? Of course not. I was thinking of going with you and Aaron. I thought you guys would be okay with it. Is that a bad idea? Together? But me and Aaron are going for a honeymoon. I don't think it's a problem. It will be just the three of us in the new house anyway. Wouldn't it be nice to take a trip to get to know each other? It will be a great memory. Besides, you know what? I hear that honeymoons often lead to fights. And when that happens, I'll be on your side to mediate. You can rely on me. Haha, <laughs> that's very nice of you. Anyway, does Aaron know that you're coming with us? Not yet. He's about to find out. Well, there's no reason to say no. Oh, I see. I understand. You don't want to travel with me, Patricia? Looks like your voice sounds unexcited. No, it's just that this time it's not a family trip but a honeymoon. Usually couples go by themselves, right? I had never heard of a family member participating in a honeymoon trip, so I didn't know how to react. Patricia, you are surprisingly old-fashioned, aren't you? It's more fun to travel with many people. We will be a family of three from now on, so let's get along. I got it. Oh, excuse me. I've got a customer on the phone. I'm going back to work. Oh dear, I'm sorry that I disturbed you. Good luck with your work. I'll look into the tourism-related information of Florida, so leave it to me. I have plenty of time to do that. Hey, Aaron, did you know that your mother wants to go with us on our honeymoon? Yeah, I know about that. I just got a call from my mom out of the blue too. She's so excited in going that I'm so confused. I told her that I didn't want her to be on the honeymoon with us. Well, you did a great job. I tried several times to tell her no, but she's really looking forward to it. And if I told her outright, I'll make her sad. Mom has never been on a vacation like this before. She's never been on a trip, let alone abroad. And it's like a dream come true for her. She's always worked so hard to raise me. I understand what you're saying, but it's a honeymoon. A trip for just the two of us to get to know each other, right? Do you want me to goof off in front of your mother? I can't do that. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but can you let my mom go with us this time? After we get back from this trip, let's go on a trip for just the two of us, okay? Maybe we can stay at the luxury hotel and relax there. What do you think? Does that mean you're going to prioritize your mother than our sweet honeymoon trip? It's not like that, but would you understand? I appreciate and respect your mother for raising you by herself. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? But we can't take care of your mother while going for a honeymoon trip. It doesn't make any sense at all. This time, I'll let your mother join our honeymoon trip. 
but if something like this happens in the future, I won't forgive you. I understand. Just this once. Thank you. Don't forget that we're going on another honeymoon trip when we get back. Don't worry. I won't forget. Hasn't your mother come out of her room yet? She was so excited that she asked me to go with her to the souvenir shop before we catch our plane. I know, but she didn't answer when I went to her room and I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Are you sure that she's okay? Did she collapse in her room or something? I don't think so. Yesterday she was doing just fine. I'm worried about your mother, so I'm going to call her myself. Good morning, Valerie. Aaron says he couldn't get in touch with you. Are you all right? Oh, Patricia, good morning. Thanks for your concern. I'm fine. Valerie, Aaron was worried about you too, you know? Do you want to go shopping from now? Anyway, where are you now? Are you in your hotel room? Hmm, don't be surprised, okay? Actually, I just arrived home. What did you say? You mean you went back by yourself? When? How? Also, why didn't you tell me? I didn't mean to hide it and sneak back home. Anyway, everything is good. It's just that I wanted to go home. I'm kind of tired, so let me rest. Wait a minute, please. If you were going to leave, you should have told me that you were leaving. But anyway, at least you arrived home safely. We'll be back by nighttime too, so please take a good rest. Are you guys going back home today too? Come to think of it, I looked in my bag just now and found your wallet and passport in it. I guess they somehow got mixed up when I was packing for our return trip. I'm sorry I didn't notice. I'll return it to you when you get back. Oh, but wait. Oh my God, you can't come back without your passport, can you? What do you mean? What do you mean that my passport got into your bag? I'm quite sure that I put it in my own bag. There's no way that it's now in your bag. Does that mean that you took it out of my bag without my permission? Are you trying to say that I stole your passport? Watch your language, Patricia. It just got mixed up in there when I realized. Isn't it because you are sloppy? That's not possible. I had my valuables in my bag. How am I supposed to go home then? I don't know. I don't think I can help you with that. You were ignoring my opinion during the trip and made your own decision. Why don't you think about the solution for your own problem by yourself? Why did you do this to me? Were you planning to leave me in Florida from the beginning? Hmm, actually, not from the beginning. But I changed my mind when I saw your true character during the trip. Come to think of it, Patricia, you weren't keen on the trip after I told you that I'll join you. A wife shouldn't let her mother-in-law know her true intentions. It seems you were also reluctant to move in with me, right? What kind of a person are you to rebel against me after marrying my son? So, this is a discipline. It's how I express my love to you as a family. It's a whip of love. The first step is the most important so that you won't disobey me in the future. It was a good experience, wasn't it? You and Aaron should just do as I say. Now, what are you going to do? I know you are very anxious right now without your wallet and passport. This is what happens when you treat me poorly and disobey me. Now you understand, don't you? I understand enough. I understand too much that I'm shaking. What a good girl. By the way, are you still shaking in fear? I know you're worried if you don't have your wallet when you're on a trip. I'm sorry. I can't help you since I'm already back home. I don't know what to do. I'm not anxious. I'm shaking with anger. It's against common sense for you to come along on my honeymoon trip. Also, taking out the wallet and passport of someone's bag is a crime. Are you aware of that? You're so persistent. Seems that you still have the energy to rebel to me. I'm going to have a hard time from now on dealing with you. You are such a troublesome wife. I can hardly imagine dealing in the future with someone who thinks that crime is discipline. The fact that you stole my wallet and passport is totally crime and I will be contacting the police. What? 
The police? You're calling the police for a mere family problem? You shouldn't bother. Are you out of your mind? Stop playing the victim since I'm the real victim here. It's you who are out of your mind, Valerie. Even a child knows that if you steal from someone, you will be punished. I didn't steal it. I'm just disciplining you. You are not making any sense. Then we should let the police decide, shall we? I'll talk to Aaron first and then call the police. I'm so busy, so I will call you back. You should calm down and think about what you have done. I am not going to apologize since I didn't do anything wrong. Please take responsibility for what you did. Hey, Patricia, what have you done? I'm busy right now, Valerie. Is something wrong? I can't stop getting calls from my relatives. They said that I'm a disgrace for what I did. Oh, I see. Looks like the response has been unexpectedly powerful. Maybe it's because I posted on social media that you stole my wallet and passport and left me in Florida. Your relatives have the access to the social media so they can also see it. Oh my God, what a thing to do. Quick, delete that post and correct your mistake. Why should I correct it? It's the truth. I'm the one who's getting the ire of all my relatives. Well, that's none of my business. You deserve that. It's your business too, isn't it? Your family. You're supposed to help me. Huh? Is this some kind of joke? Family? You came along on a trip and interrupted the newlywed couple. And then to top it off, you took my wallet and passport out of my bag. That's not something a family member would do. I'm disappointed. You are a persistent person and also not a good listener. I'm telling you that the wallet and passport just happened to be in my bag. You still think of it that way? I'm not going to argue with you about that now. I had a discussion with Aaron. As you can see, he is indignant. When I return back home, I'll probably have to cut ties with you. What the hell is that? Why do I have to cut ties with Aaron? He's my sweet son. If you who have no remorse get involved, there will be more unreasonable things happen in the future. Aaron is worried about me because of this incident. He thought it was dangerous for me to stay with you. Stealing my wallet and left me abroad without a care is too cruel for a discipline. Even though Aaron is a child of such a mother, I'm glad that he's decent. I wonder if he's just like his decent father. It is common sense for a wife to listen to her husband and her mother-in-law. All you did annoyed me, so it's natural to discipline you, right? Why don't you just say it directly then? You don't have to do this kind of criminal act. If you had told me about your concerns, I would have listened to you properly. In the first place, you just said that a wife is supposed to listen to her mother-in-law. You called me old-fashioned before, didn't you? I will say exactly the same thing to you. You were married before, weren't you? You had a bad experience yourself. So now, you are doing the same thing to me? I admire you for raising your children by yourself, but there is a difference between that and this. Maybe so, but... I'm so upset now since I have seen your true character. I never thought that you are that kind of person. Oh, I know that you're trying to impress me with your talk, but since I stole your wallet, how are you going to come back home? If you can't come back, it doesn't matter what you insinuate, it won't hurt. I still have Aaron with me. Seems that you don't know anything. What do you mean by that? If you lose your wallet, as long as you have your smartphone with you, you can manage to pay for stuff by using the app and go back home safely. I guess you didn't know about that. Even if I don't have my smartphone with me, I have Aaron who'll help me. Finally, you just said it out, didn't you? You stole my wallet. I'll use this as evidence to file a theft report with the police. Wait a minute! Are you really going to call the police? Not only you forced me to cut the cord with Aaron, but you also want to call the police? That's too much! Too much? That's what you did to me. Go ahead. You can say whatever you want. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. 
Patricia, I got a call from my son. He sounded so formal and I felt as if he were a stranger. It seems that he really intends to cut ties with me. That's right. I won't lie to you. Did you think I was lying when I said that to you? I didn't think you would go that far. Aaron says he loves me and will protect me who is his precious wife. It's too late for you to regret it now, okay? I can't forgive you. I'm sorry. I apologize. Please forgive me. If Aaron and I are no longer family, how will I be able to live? I don't care about that. Why don't you solve it by yourself? Serves you right. Right now, I'm living on the money Aaron sends me every month. If we are no longer mother and son, it means that I'll lose those remittances. How can I survive? Why don't you start to get a job to pay for your own living expenses then? The only thing that's important to you is the money. With that kind of thinking, how could you expect me to forgive such a cruel mother? I have no intention of forgiving you. Also, I think the police will be contacting you soon. I contacted the police after I returned back home and told them that my wallet was stolen. I also showed them the evidence. What am I supposed to do? I'm in a panic because I've made Aaron upset and now the police are coming too. By the way, not only will you be arrested for theft, but you will also be charged with compensation. No way! I was left in Florida without my wallet and I was also experiencing the mental anguish of the possibility of not being able to return home. When I contacted the police, they told me that I should also consult a lawyer. So I consulted the lawyer and found out that I can also get compensation for what you did to me. I'm looking forward to your payment. Thank you very much. I can't afford to pay for the compensation when I can't even make a living without Aaron's remittances. Even if you can't pay, I'll have you pay for that at all cost. You'll have to ask your lawyer how you're going to pay. I don't think there's any way not to pay, but maybe they can give you some advice on how to find a job and pay for that. Patricia, I'm so sorry. What I did was too much for a discipline. I apologize. Really, forgive me. I'm just a weak old lady, okay? Weak? Stop joking, Valerie. I've never seen someone so strong like you before, so I'm not going to forgive you, no matter how hard you try. I hope you will realize in time about the consequences of what you have done to me. I'm going to be separated from Aaron, who I worked so hard to raise. That alone is an unbelievable suffering, and you don't need to add compensation on top of it. At the very least, please don't cut me off from the family ties. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. It was Aaron who came up with the idea after he heard about what you did to me. So it doesn't make sense for you to tell me to stop cutting the cord. Please tell Aaron directly. Well, I don't think he'll withdraw his decision anyway. That's impossible. I've raised him so carefully. I don't know how you raised Aaron, but thank you for being completely contrary and setting a bad example for me. Aaron seems to understand that your ideas are crazy. You know what? I don't deserve this. I'm sorry about that. It's called karma. You know that? Thank you again for setting a bad example for me and Aaron this time. What goes around comes around. So please do your best to atone for your sins. Now then, I have nothing more to say to you, Valerie. Please excuse me. Valerie was arrested by the police for theft. However, since it was her first offense, she received a stern warning and was given a suspended sentence and did not face jail time. We heard about this fact from a relative and we did not go to see her in person because we were afraid that she would get involved further and do something nasty to us. Aaron, as he had declared to me, cut off all contact with his mother and of course, he has stopped sending money to her. My mother-in-law, who still could not give up, visited her house every day, crying and sometimes swearing at us. Even though I told her that she was disturbing the neighborhood, she refused to listen and asked me to resume sending money to her. I can never forgive her, so I turned her away. Since I was fed up with her coming to my house every day, me and Aaron decided to move into a house with better conditions than before without telling Valerie about that. We also charged her for compensation 
which she had no choice but to start working part-time again to pay for that since Aaron has stopped sending money to her. I heard a rumor that my mother-in-law, who is very energetic for her age, talkative, puts her own mistakes on the shelf and is always mean to the younger staff at her part-time job, so everyone dislikes her. I'm not a cruel person, so after Aaron cut the cord with his mother and she agreed to pay for the compensation, I deleted my social media posts about what had happened. Now that we are no longer related, me and Valerie are strangers. Since we have some money to spare from the compensation we received, we are happily planning where to go for our honeymoon, just the two of us, one more time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.